Welcome back. My name is Anand and you're watching Young Physicist. I have already explained in one of my videos that why do accelerated charged particles emit the electromagnetic radiation? Many of the viewers are asking for the mathematical explanation. So in this video, I'm going to explain mathematically why do accelerated charged particles emit the electromagnetic radiation using some of the equations. Before that, we should be knowing what is pointing vector. Pointing vector is the measure of energy that is being carried out by the electromagnetic radiation per unit area per unit time. The direction of the pointing vector is in the direction of flow of the energy, right? And it's a calculable quantity that can be calculated by S vector. S vector means the pointing vector, which is equal to one upon mu naught, the cross product of electric field and magnetic field. When the charged particle is moving with a constant velocity, it will have both electric field and magnetic field. The electric field and magnetic field for a moving charged particle uh, or a charged particle which is moving with a constant velocity is given by these two expressions. Uh, these expression for electric field and magnetic field for a moving charged particle with a constant velocity uh, is given in many books, right? Uh, you can, if you want to uh, look for this derivation, you can look for this derivation in a book, Introduction to uh, Electrodynamics by Griffith, right? Now, electric field and magnetic field, these are the function of, of course, velocity. Because the charged particle is moving with a constant velocity, they will be function of velocity. Also, they depend upon the uh, square of the distance. The electric field is inversely proportional to square of the distance. Magnetic field is also inversely proportional to square of the distance. And this distance is the point of observation from the charged particle, right? Now, if we want to calculate the pointing vector or the magnitude of pointing vector for uh, this uh, charged particle moving with a constant velocity, we can calculate that, right? And that magnitude of the pointing vector will be, uh, there will be some term, right? Because uh, we have to multiply electric field and magnetic field, there will be some term and multiplied by one upon R raised to power four, okay? When this electric field and magnetic field, both are being multiplied, the, it has R square, it has R square. So the magnitude of pointing vector will, uh, will have the term R raised to power, Four. Okay, now let's calculate the power that is being carried out by uh, this uh, charged particle, right? And that power can be calculated P is equal to integration over a closed surface uh, magnitude of the pointing vector into this dA area, right? Now this pointing vector depends upon uh, R raised to power 4 inversely with R raised to power 4 and area will definitely contain the term uh, which will be R square. Now the power will depend upon R raised to power 2. It means the this power will be inversely proportional to the square of distance because it uh, has R raised to power 4 and it has R, raised, R square in the numerator so R square will will be cancelled by the r square and you are left with only r square now the power that is being carried out by the charged particle moving with a constant velocity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance right it depends upon the distance okay now if we are looking for the energy or power at uh, at very large distance let's say infinity at infinity right so definitely at R is equal to infinity, this power delivered or power emitted by the, the this particle will be zero. What does it mean basically? It means if you are looking for the power that is being emitted by the charged particle moving with a constant velocity at very large distance or at infinity, then the power will be zero. That means that power, that energy can't be a radiation because a radiation is something that leaves the particle and the radiation or that but that energy uh, travels to the distance of infinity 
So in this case, that power cannot be a radiation. This energy cannot be a radiation because it depends upon the distance, right? It doesn't mean that if a particle is moving with a constant velocity, then it doesn't, you know, uh, carry the energy. It does carry the energy, but that energy goes with the charged particle. It doesn't leave the charged particle like radiation does. Okay, so definitely at infinity, the radiation emitted by the charged particle has to be zero. Means the charged particle moving with constant velocity cannot emit the electromagnetic radiation. Now let's have a look over the case when the charged particle is accelerated. The expression for electric field and the magnetic field for a charged particle which is accelerated by the acceleration A are given by E vector is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught Q upon C square R cap cross R cap into A vector where A is the acceleration divided by R. R is the distance of observation from the charged particle. R vector it's a unit vector. This A vector is a acceleration. Q is the charge on the charged particle. C square where C is the speed of light where C is the speed of light in vacuum right. If you know electric field you can calculate the magnetic field because there is a relation between electric field and magnetic field. So the magnetic field for a charged particle which is accelerated is given by mu naught upon 4 pi Q upon C R cap into A vector divided by R. Both electric field and magnetic field are inversely proportional to 1 power of the distance. Now let's calculate the pointing vector, the magnitude of pointing vector for uh, the charged particle which is accelerated. The pointing vector will, will, will be equal to, there will be some terms into 1 upon r square because it has 1 r, it has 1 r when both are being multiplied or if we take the co cross product of e vector and b vector then there will be a term involving 1 upon r square. Okay, now power will be is equal to the integration over a closed surface. Uh, S into dA where S is the magnitude of the pointing vector and dA is the area element. Now S is inversely proportional to square of distance. R will contain the term which will uh, which will be R square. Now this R square will be cancelled by this R square. So the, the uh, this power will uh, will not contain any term involving R. Okay, so the power emitted by the charged particle which is accelerated will not contain any term involving the distance. It will not depend upon the distance. Perhaps there is R, there is one A, there is one A, definitely this power will depend upon A square, square of the magnitude of acceleration. Okay, now this power doesn't depend upon the distance. It means for, for infinity, for 10 meter, 20 meter, 100 meter, for any distance, power will be same okay if at at even at infinity the power will, will be there will be some power so this corresponds to a radiation okay because radiation is something that leaves a particle and it can travel to the distance of infinity so definitely the accelerated charged particle emit the electromagnetic radiation now one interesting thing here is this power emitted by the accelerated charged particle uh, depends upon the square of the acceleration. If you increase the acceleration by two times, then the power emitted by the charged particle will be four times. Okay, so ultimately the power emitted depends upon the acceleration. More the acceleration, more is the power emitted by the accelerated, accelerated charged particle. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe the channel Young Physicist. Thank you very much.